Every year when it comes to uh, what we're looking for as projects in the future, the township goes on a board retreat. And at that point is when we talk about what projects we want to put together, where we want to put the, the infrastructure like parks, sidewalks, road infrastructure and those types of things. We, we want to put a lot of that money back into the community itself. One of our biggest projects that we've uh, completed in here in another month or so is Hacker Road. And that was a joint venture between Osceola Township, Livingston County Road Commission, and Heartland Township itself. The importance of municipalities grasping this road problem has been an enormous positive benefit everywhere in our county. Once we have decided that we will contribute all the construction engineering, our employees want to do, always do, a little bit more. So we've been attacking drainage problems and some other things that weren't really in our project scope. Trying to do them the year before so that when it's time to launch the paving improvement, we've got a lot of that work out of the way and we've got something that's gonna last a lot longer and solve more than one problem. We have two roads remaining. Bergen Road will be done in 17. We're gonna add a right turn lane and then we're also gonna be doing Main Street in town and then all the projects will be done and then we'll have this nest egg for future maintenance. Hacker Road has almost been paved three times in the last 25 years. We reached a sweet spot that we would never have reached without this millage. What the millage dollars do is they, they prime a pump that allows us to take advantage of mass purchasing of certain materials. Most of the work we've done in Heartland has been pavement overlays. We've been able to take your projects and projects from throughout the county, put them together, and drive the prices down to the, almost the lowest in the state. And what we're trying to do is say, whether it's done statewide or we just do it as a county, we need to push that out and have a long-term strategic relationship with our infrastructure so that we can keep it in good condition. Our township board has been very active in our park improvement program. We started with Heritage Park and uh, Settlers Park, which is right here on Clark Road by our township hall. We tend to build up areas over and over again. It's having what I'll call green space and having parks, not just Heritage Park, but the other parks we have in Heartland, and preserving that so you have a nice balance between homes, education, schools, business, and a place to even just for recreation. The improvements that the township is making on what I'll call phase two, phase three, the community is very excited about in our meetings. We uh, hear feedback even at the field. Uh, and they're most excited, I think, about bathhouses that will be going in. Um, also, we're going to have a brick and mortar storage area, improved upon the handicapped parking spaces, and uh, make it a little bit easier for uh, those individuals to make it to and from the field as well. Visiting teams, uh, the spectators, parents, uh, referees that come out are um, uh, very impressed. And I would think ultimately that these children are excited, one, to come out and play at this facility. I think over time, you know, 10, 20, 30 years from now, this is really going to be a cornerstone for the community. A lot of uh, developers want visibility from 23, but on the access of 59, and you can see behind me, we have a new uh, convenience store gas station going up, certain grocery stores, uh, certain other big box home improvement stores. When we've reached out to those uh, companies, basically they're looking for the number of households in your community that would support those type of businesses. We are in communication with those businesses. We are hoping to attract some of them, but in order to really uh, get that to occur, we do need some more residential housing units in this community. Better commercial development requires more rooftops to be successful. There's no secret that it's not just about money, but also the amount of foot traffic you get that makes your business successful. The higher the density in the general area, the more the assured business activity for the commercial developer, the more likely the commercial developer will come there because they have that assurance. The amount of land that's still here in a rural setting plays into the open feel uh, and the combination of bringing in new families and maintaining the tradition that's here, I think really appeals to majority of our buyers. As the businesses start to help out on their side, developers of residential property have to help out on their side and make sure that we keep an abundance of housing stock available for these new workers that are going to be coming into the area. We will definitely take a lot of pride in knowing that we help build this for the future.
The reason my family and I chose Heartland was because we've lived here for 12 years and we really believe in the community. We always felt that Heartland was aching for another option to go out and eat and we're trying to be that family tavern type option. Uh, we were two months old yesterday and it's definitely exceeded our expectations. The Heartland is definitely has a base of uh, income that meets the small businessman, the small business person and can support it. You know, we, when we did our research, we saw that there's a need for a lot of things here in Heartland. And I think as more businesses come, more population will come. It's been a great win-win situation for our family. The sewer bonds, there was a lot of infrastructure put in. And when the economy changed, uh, there was some larger parcels that defaulted. The township itself bought, uh, on behalf of the sewer district, those properties back. And we are eager to say, at this point, uh, most of those are actually been secured by new investments. We're looking forward to the future that it's not going to be an issue, a long-term issue for the finances of the township itself. The township's really excited. Our auditor just came back with, it's going to sound odd, as an unqualified uh, response, which means we can't get any higher than that. We as a township board uh, feel that it's very important for any type of government, and especially here at the local level, that we're very transparent. The reason we do surveys is because it's the best way to try to get feedback more directly from residents. There's no question that Heartland Township has uh, some high standards when it comes to building here. And uh, the feedback from our residents is pretty clear that they uh, support that uh, as one of their community values. You can see all of our activity, all of our board meetings, all of our minutes, and everything are either online, on TV, and if you want to go at any time go back and watch an actual board meeting, you can go to our website, click on a link, and you can, you can watch the whole thing as if it was being taped live. Part of that transparency is, is we actually want to hear from our citizens themselves, and if you ever have a question, you can uh, contact any board member at board at heartlandtwp.com.